a quick chipping tip for uh, the female golfers today. Um, just a little thing you can do just to make sure that we don't have some of those really thin and skull shots that really zoom across the green the other side, but also making sure that we don't end up slamming the club into the ground before the ball, which then causes those duck shots. Uh, really not very good for any scoring perspective, you know, really going to help us add those shots to the score, when really it can be a very simple shot with a few very simple techniques that will really stop you from, as I say, wasting those shots when you get in and around the green. So, as you can probably see, I've got a couple of pieces of my Colour Pass golf kit just on the ground here. Uh, we've got a red ruler uh, and a yellow plate, and they're there just to do uh, a couple of things. So, firstly being the, the width of the plate to get a, you know, a width of our stance, so we're not going to be standing too wide, you know, we don't need a particularly wide stance when it comes to chipping because it's such a short swing shot. And then we've got the red ruler just to denote our ball position. Okay. The other thing this yellow plate can do is the width is a really great guide for how we want the club to scrape or surf the ground as we uh, as we make our chip shot. Uh, we've got to make sure that there's going to be a little bit of interaction of the sole of the club and the grass to be able to get a good quality chip shot. swings where I'm going to feel like I'm just brushing the grass on the width of this yellow plate. Okay, just taking that grass almost as if I was just taking the tops of the grass off and then I'm going to pop the ball in and have a go. Yeah. Feet just either side of the yellow plate, ball on the red piece that's down the middle. Using the red piece to denote where I want my handle to be as well so it's not led too far forward, helping us use the sole and the, uh, the bounce of the club. And then I'm just going to have a go. 